Coach Angie here and my faithful friend. And today we're going to do some activities that might be good if it's wet weather or sunny weather or I don't know, does it snow where you live? All we need is some chalk and we're going to talk to a grown up and make sure that it's okay for us to draw on some cement, okay? So once you've got your chalk and checked with your grown up, maybe they want to come along and play too. We can get started. All right, let's do it. Nothing sharp, there's no hole, we're all safe to go. You can see I've got shoes on today, but you probably do it barefoot if you're feeling tough. Has anybody played hopscotch before? Do you know how to do it? Right, what we need is a chalk. I'm gonna do my first one in squares. rock or a marker or something like that. This is where we're starting. Two feet on here, we're gonna put the rock on number one. And all we have to do is not jump on it. Two feet, one feet, two feet, one foot, two feet. One. How about that? Okay, guess what we do next? We're going two. So this is a bit more hoppy, ready? Go. 
So now, this time we're gonna make lily pads. Do you know what lily pads are? They float on top of water, they're a plant. And they have big leaves, and the frogs jump from leaf to leaf on top of the water. Do you think we can do that? So, while I'm drawing mine, maybe you'd like to draw yours. And you can make them whatever shape you want, as close as you want, as far apart as you want. I'm gonna do five. Okay, how many are you gonna do? Let's have a race and see if you can do it first. Ready, set, go! make up with these. So we can start with all of our bodies inside. Put your feet down. We're going to jump like frogs, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Do I look like a frog? I feel a bit like a frog. Now I'm using all of my body to move now. I'm using my legs, my bottom, my arms, my shoulders taking big deep breaths and sometimes I'm jumping close and sometimes I'm jumping far away. How about you? Did you do big ones close together or small ones far apart? We can go sideways. <laughs> we can turn in the air. We can do woo, big jumps. I'd really love to see what you guys do. So it's your turn now. Feel free to send me a little video. Put it down in the comments. Have yourself a little froggy jump. And we'll make up some other games on our leaf pads, hey? Okay, let's do it. about how I'm thinking of using it but I'm really interested to find out what you do and how you use it. So here's my idea. It's like a game of snakes and ladders like we would play on the board but we've got a great big board and we don't have little figures and a dice to use. We've got us so we can play on our own or we can play with our friends or with our pet dog if we can get it to do that. I don't have a dog so I don't know how to play. The only other thing you're going to need is a stick. I don't have a dice but that's okay, because we're clever and we can use what we've got, right? So, instead of a dice, I've made a circle on the, on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, written on it, and a stick. Now we're just gonna 
Oh, we should decide which end as well. So I'll just paint in chalk, which is our pointer stick end. But you know, maybe you could use a rubber band or um, you've got a multicolored stick. I don't know. So what we're gonna do is do our best and make it up as we go along. So, spin. That's my painted end. It says five. So we get to move five moves on our snakes and ladders. Do you get the idea? So when you come to play the game, that's one of my suggestions on how you can do it. I'm just gonna go play on my snakes and my ladders. You might remember a while ago, we did a little uh, agility ladder session. Uh, so we can do some of the exercises from that. But you know, we could put some music on and just move like snakes. Let's see what we do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's go play. Obviously this isn't up or downy, so we're going to go a little bit of jumping today. How are we going to move on the snakes? Maybe we're going to go sneaky, balancing on snakes. How do we go now? Where do we go from here? Should we jump on this one? This looks like a friendly kind of snake. I think this is a ticky toe kind of snake. Here's another ladder. Okay, I'm gonna go sideways. I'm gonna do it with me, ready, let's go. Whoops. And this one likes a little bit of a massage, tell me before. So let's just go hands, toes, toes and fingers, all the way down to the end. So they tell you that they're friendly snakes. If you see, most of them are smiling, and one of them is asleep. Radio. We're gonna go back the other way now. What do you think we should do? What's that? Hopping. One leg, one foot. That's me. I'm not sure I should be. Alright, let's go. Left leg. Right leg. Right leg. Left leg. Show me what you can do, I can't wait. I'm sure that you're going to have more ideas that you can tell me about because if you send me some ideas and you'd like to see me filming them and you'd like to see my friend filming them, please get in touch because I want to do fun stuff with you for as long as we can, okay? So as long as it's not too dangerous, I don't mind a little bit of danger, but you know, safety first. So today we're going to do balance feet. So you can see I've drawn a nice big long straight line. With traditional balance beams, they're up quite high. So if you fall off, you need 
something to catch you. House is on the ground, so hopefully we won't fall. There's no great height. We're just trying to keep our balance and I'll try not to trip over too much, but I'm sure you've seen me fall enough now to know that it's okay and it's a bit of a laugh. So I'll go first on my own and then I'm going to add some weight. I'll give you that So if you've got a grown up with you, maybe you'd like to get them involved because I'll tell you something, having fun, jumping around, snakes and ladders, you know, all this stuff, drawing with chalk, it's not just for kids. So if you've got a grown up, maybe you can help them get fit have fun too. Rightio, so let's go on the balance beat. Sloppy, are you happy to sit on the floor and wait for me? He's such a good friend, isn't he? Okay, he's just going to sit over here and watch. And if you really would like to, we can do all of that gymnastic stuff. So I've seen him do it on TV and it was really cool. Okay, so ready? Ready, so you're going to put the front of the other, staying on our pose. teddy bear or your sloth attached to your front. You can give them a piggyback, put them on your shoulders. I don't know, get creative. So let's go and let's see if it makes any difference because I'm not going to be able to put my arms out wide because I'm holding on to you know who. Let's see if it makes a difference to my balance. And let's see if it makes a difference to your balance. Here we go. Remember we're going to try and keep our heels up off the ground. Slowly. Take a couple of steps for practice before we start doing tricks. <laughs> Gets a bit wobbly, doesn't it? Okay, so foot out in front. And that's where I can feel my tummy muscles are really helping now. And I'm not leaning back too far, but I think with practice my balance is getting better. Okay, let's go forward. So now I can bring the front of my, the top of my body forwards and my leg back. And you can see that I'm balancing front and back. And it's okay to put your foot down if you need to. Oh, wobble, wobble. 
try the other leg. Up in front. Oh, see, I couldn't do it with <laughs> two hands holding on. <laughs> I didn't even realize, did you notice that? So it's good to be able to have one hand out to the side. Very helpful. Still not putting my heel down, how about you guys? So we try going out to the side. <laughs> So when I'm balancing out to the side on my tippy toes, my body wants to go in the opposite direction. We call that counterbalance. <laughs> Should we try the other hand? Did you notice that I let this hand go from holding onto sloppy? How's your body feeling? I tell you, mine's getting quite hot. I don't know if you can see, but I'm glistening with some sweat here. Good fun though, huh? We made it to that end. Let's go back the other way. Okay, let's try a balance. Heels up off the ground, coming forward with your body and back with your leg. Very good. Let's go slowly. Try the other side. Forwards and backwards and reaching. Okay, very good. on the ground we don't just have to balance on it can you think of other things that we can do you got it you guys love jumping don't you I'm gonna put Slucky down so he can have a rest because that was quite tiring for him lying there doing nothing so watching my feet two feet very good Shall we do one foot each side? Let's go. Now we're gonna go sideways, up and back, ready? And then we go the other way, because what we do on one side, we have to do on the other, remember? So let's go. Not touching the line, if you can. So, you've got your line there, you've got some ideas, and you've got a head full of creativity, guys, and lots of energy. So please, please, send me a video, show me what you come up with, with everything we've done today. And I'm going to grab my friend and a drink of water and I'll be back in a sec. so great or if the weather's really hot or if you know where there's a really cool piece of concrete that you're allowed to draw on that's safe to do so please let me know what you did it's been so much fun I'm starting to cool down a little bit now I'm gonna have myself a nice drink of water I'm gonna go have a little stretch enjoy my day it's been so much fun being with you today thank you for joining me and don't forget keep following us on stronger together and show us your comments and check out the other coaches because there's some really fun stuff going on on the whole website. And I will see you next week with my little friend. Take care.